Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this Tinderbox lesson, we want to give an advanced uh, view on how to administer and manage your media files, your images, your audio, uh, and your video files in your Tinderbox files. And in particular, what I want to do is teach you how to add caption and source um, to your images. So uh, we're building off of the working with media uh, intermediate uh, lesson. Um, so if you haven't watched that, be sure to go watch that first. Um, but now I can give you a quick review. So for, if you recall uh, how you go ahead about it, for example, uh, integrating um, media, and I'll, I'll actually I'll do it this way, uh, is you, whoops, I'll do it this way, is you can go and you know, import your HTML and it, you know, using the value, um, the um, export code to be able to pull in from attributes as we discussed in the last file, you can do that here. And that's what we're gonna leverage for integrating actions. So for example, let me go ahead and I'm gonna copy um, this, um, this file here and I'll hit copy paste and we'll say, now this is image with captions. Okay. And uh, as we talked uh, at, show this. Uh, now as we talked about in the previous lesson, um, I use text expander to be able to uh, pull in code snippets that I have to re that I reuse all the time. And so I actually have a code snippet too that not only includes um, the path to be for me pulling in my images and you know, for me to be able to specify the weight, the weight, uh, the width and the height of my images or my video files or my audio files, um, but also um, for me to be able to pull in other attributes too, like uh, the caption that I want for the media or the source. So let me go ahead and uh, I use uh, my uh, forward slash image as my snippet for doing that. So let me go ahead here. I'm going to delete this code and I'm going to go ahead and type image. What's gonna, what that does is that now has um, a text expander I say, okay, great, here's the snippet you want. Uh, where, you know, and this is all stuff I've programmed into text banner. If you guys have questions, ask me and I can uh, do a video around this as well. Um, so I've got all of the media uh, for my lessons in my Tinderbox lessons directory. Um, let's say we wanna make this image, you know, 400 uh, pixels width. And now I'm gonna hit okay. Now. Let me show you and read this code for you and see what's going on. So this is specifying that I'm importing an image. The source is telling me, telling Tinderbox where to get the image. So that's the uh, directory path on my computer. Um, this is your export code that's saying, go out and go to the attributes of this particular file and grab the attribute name media file and insert the file name here. Uh, and so or basically insert the string, which happens to be the name of the file on my hard drive here. Um, now, what else is going on here? I've got other action code here. This is an if statement. This is saying if media caption um, is, uh, it contains information, uh, then, uh, and okay, I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, let's add the prototype so you, so, so you can see that here. So, um, oh no, we got to reset the prototype. All right. So, if you say if media caption contains information, then show me that, that bold it, you know, this is another tag for HTML bold media caption, and then end the if. And then do another if. If media source contains information, and then put in parentheses the, that media source information. So let's go ahead and show you what's happening here. So if I um, go ahead and hit preview now, we're gonna get expected. There's the image that we wanna have here. Now, if I go ahead and put a caption in here, um, image of Michael Becker teaching um, TBX, media management okay so now because there is a uh, value in media caption here this is now going to be held true if media caption um, uh, is has a value then go and there's another way to do that by the way too as i could say equals and then um and actually i want to say just the you know, explanation point equals and then uh, put in two quotes. So if I do that, and I want two smart quotes, um, and again, as we talked about in the previous lessons, there, those would be smart quotes like that. You can watch the lesson to be able to get it. Um, if I say, you know, that's the other way to say, you know, essentially I'm saying if media action is not empty, then do that. But the nice, the alternative to do in Tinderbox is just saying the, the attribute itself and Tinderbox is smart enough or is intuits because says, if this value, if this uh, attribute has a value, then execute the um, uh, the condition for that if statement. And so the condition now is, if media has value, which it does right now, then bold that value and display it. So let's go ahead and show you that. There you go. 
So image Michael Becker teaching TBX management. And then if we want to go ahead and do the same thing here, if it has source, I can say uh, Becker 2020. There you go. So there's my picture, image Michael Becker teaching to Neurolox Media Management 2020. Now we can do the same thing for our other media types as well. So if I can go here and I now do video and let's say, and I'll, actually I can show you something else really kind of cool here too. I'll say the lessons in here. I'll go ahead and hit okay. And this is Michael Becker teaching TBX. And as we said before, the caption will be Becker 2020. Okay, now watch this. If I hit preview, the video is huge. Okay, there it is. Now, what we can do here is if I go back into my HTML, I can modify the width. And I can say the width is 400. Now, as we talked about in the previous lessons, Tinderbox is using smart quotes. So I can go ahead and just copy a smart quote and fix that really easily. Or I can turn off the smart quotes as we showed in the other lesson and voila, now I've got a 400 pixel wide video um, that we can play Hi, this is Michael and, the, and the video and, this lesson of Tinder... and the video is captioned. And then we can do the same thing with audio. Let's just go ahead and be complete for our lesson. We'll go here. I'll go ahead and use my snippet to pull in my audio from Text Expander. I'll tell it what uh, lesson where I want it to come from. I'll hit here, there's my audio, and then this is Michael Becker talking about teaching Tinderbox. And again, we'll give it a caption of Becker 2020. Okay, hit preview, and there you go. There's our audio file with the caption. Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this lesson, this is... Okay, so that is kind of a more advanced uh, method of managing media within your um, uh, uh, Tinderbox file. And it, it's advanced and not because it's any different than the basic in terms of how you import media. Uh, but the reason why I call it advanced is if you're really, you know, being a good steward in the uh, uh, realm of knowledge management, you want to make sure you're properly captioning, captioning and properly sourcing your information. And so this is a great way of being able to do that very quickly and, and in an automated way. Um, using the um, you know the basically the export codes uh, model and if you want to learn more about those I highly highly encourage you to start spending a lot of time with the tinderbox reference file so this is uh, this is ATB ref this is uh, a uh, file that has been uh, lovingly developed over the last 10 or more years by uh, Mark Anderson um, and so if you if you go to ATB uh, the um, you know acrobat faq.com ATB ref 8 index.html I'll put it in the notes uh, this is just an unbelievably important resource for you to be able to get the most out of Tinderbox. I spend most of my time though on the sitemap because then I can do searches for things like up, up, carrot, if, and then that gives me the conditional statement. And then I can go in here and read about conditional statements. And again, now that you've kind of uh, seen how they work, hopefully it will help you read um, the ATB ref file a little bit more uh, easier as well. So with that, thank you very much. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.